So I wanted to create a quick video just setting up uh, Laravel, installing uh, Breeze, and getting set up with uh, getting set up with LiveWire. So here I'm in my Laravel code directory, and I'm simply I'm going to run a Laravel new, and we'll call this LiveWire demo, and install that. So we're just going to install Laravel with no presets. And we're going to install Breeze and Tailwind separately. Okay, once that's done, we are going to try to open. I always try to open it up with PStorm. So PStorm and the name. So Livewire demo. But it just never opens up for whatever reason. So let me open this up manually. So I'll have to open up manually. It's a bit annoying, but that's just the way it is right now. So we have Laravel ready. So I'll open up a Chrome. I'm gonna pull a new Chrome tab over here and we'll just go to Livewire demo. Livewire demo dot test. Took a little bit, but we're here. We got this set up. Um, and let's go ahead and install Laravel Breeze. So we can just look up Laravel Breeze starter kit and go ahead and get here we'll install it as a dev dependency so get back to php storm open up the terminal down here at the bottom we're not going to use iterm any longer we can just install level breeze this way let's go back to chrome and let's see so after composer install level breeze package we can run breeze install we can run php artisan breeze install and then npm install and npm run dev. And let's go ahead and go back to Chrome, refresh up here. And I'm not really sure why this is taking so long, um, but we do have login and register here. Go to login, and I believe this is already using Tailwind. So if we take a look, this is using Tailwind utility classes. So let's go over to package.json. And we can see we have Alpine installed and Tailwind CSS installed. So now we just got to install Livewire. So go back to Chrome and let's go ahead and install Livewire. So Livewire, let's do Laravel Livewire. Get in here, let's go to the docs and Composer require Livewire Livewire. Open up the terminal and install that with Composer. Okay, that's done. Let's go back to Chrome. We've got to include the JavaScript on every page using Livewire. So, so we have Livewire styles and Livewire scripts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the homepage again. So this is using this page, the welcome page is not using a component. So let's go ahead and register um, John Doe, john.example.com. Give it a password and no database setup. So let's go ahead and go to table plus. All right, so here's table plus here. I'm gonna create a new database. We'll call it live wire demo and should be good now. So we'll get off screen, go ahead and refresh. And we also need to run our migrations. So PHP artisan migrate. And you can see Livewire demo doesn't exist. That's because we named it Livewire slash demo, no underscore. So we'll go to our NV file and change Livewire demo to demo. Actually, this may throw an error. So yeah, it worked. Okay. We can go back to Chrome, refresh that, should rescind our registration. So this is the uh, home screen. So if we go here to welcome, let's open up the web routes file and you can see this welcome view. This welcome is just, so let's go here and we can go to the dashboard view and the dashboard is using the app layout component. Um, we've got slot and header and here. So let's go to the app layout, open up the blade, the blade file. And you can see scripts here, styles here. 
So I think we have it copied already. So we do Laravel styles there. And right before the ending body, we'll call the Laravel scripts. Open that up and we should have Livewire installed. So just to get started, we're going to create a new Livewire component. Um, so I'm using the Laravel idea uh, plugin for PHP Storm. If it's the same as going PHP Artisan make Livewire, um, but I'm just using the plugin here. So if I type in Livewire, I'm creating a component and I'm going to create a login component, right? So we'll just call this login component. I like to suffix every um, component with the component word, um, just so I know that it's a Livewire component. Open that up. We get the Livewire component and the view here, and we're just gonna type in test. And now on the home. So now if we go back to the dashboard, we can just say here, we're going to type in, this is going to be the login component and go back to Chrome just to take a look. And now it says test. And that is because it's pulling from this live wire component. So from the live wire component, back to Chrome. And yeah, so we are loading live wire styles in. So yeah, that's just a quick demo on how to set up a Laravel project with the toss tag. So we got Tailwind, Alpine, Livewire, and Laravel all set up and ready to get started on this project.